the aggregated employer work visa aewv is a temporary work visa in new zealand you can apply for it if you have a job offer from an aggregated employer and you may be able to fast track to residence or gain it after two years this visa is valid for 30 months so you may be wondering why am i talking about this visa well because this is a new visa which was launched only last year in new zealand in 2022 and it replaced six work visas in new zealand that were previously available which were number one essential skills work visa number two essential skills work visa approved in principle number three talent work visa number four long-term skill shortage list work visa number five silver fund job search visa and number six silver fund practical experience visa so if you want to learn about this new work visa and want to apply for this visa as this is one of the easiest visas to apply in New Zealand because anyone can apply for job irrespective of any type of job so make sure to stick with me till the end hello guys i'm sarika and welcome to your knowledge buddy if you guys want to connect with me on instagram my id is your knowledge buddy where i do post more updates frequently as compared to youtube so make sure to come and say hello to me and if you wish to book my one-to-one -one consultation you can also do that by the link provided in my video description so without any further delay let's begin with today's topic my agenda one is what are the requirements of the aggregated employer work visa which is a new visa which we are going to talk about today so you must meet this basic requirements to apply for an aggregated employer work visa number one you must have an offer letter of full-time work at least 30 hours a week from an aggregated employer if you are wondering what an aggregated employer means it's like a licensed employer as you know in the UK only a licensed sponsor can give you a work visa in the same way in New Zealand as well you need a job offer from a licensed sponsor which is called as aggregated employer number two your employer must pay you at least the new zealand median wage unless your occupation is exempt number three there must be no new zealanders available to do the work you have been offered unless a waiver applies number four you must have the necessary skills and qualifications for the job you have been offered number five you must meet new zealand's health and character requirements number six your your age should be 55 or under 55 to apply for this visa agenda number two what can you do on AEWV visa with an aggregated employer work visa you can number one work in New Zealand for an aggregated employer number two live and work in New Zealand for up to three years if you are paid at or above the New Zealand median wage or for up to two years if you are paid below the median age number three study for up to three months in any 12 month period period or do any study required as part of your employment number four support your dependent child's visitor visa or student visa if you earn at least new zealand dollar 43322 each year number five only work for the employer who offered you the visa application for the length of your visa if your situation changes you must vary the condition of your visa or apply for a new visa your dependent spouse or partner will get a visitor visa to enter new zealand most spouses and partners who then want to work in New Zealand must apply for an AEWV in their own right. These applications are open from December 2022. Agenda number three, visa cost. If you apply for your visa, it will cost you roughly $750. And if your employer needs to apply for an aggregation license, they need to pay anywhere from $740 to $3,870, depending on type of license. And the job check will cost around $610. Agenda three, switching of visa is it allowed or not yes you could qualify for a fast track to residence or have a work to residence pathway new zealand has issued a new skill shortage list called the green list with 85 hard to fill roles in critical sectors of new zealand's economy you don't have to work in a green list occupation to apply for an aewv but if you do you could fast track your residence or have a work to residence pathway aewv holders who qualify for work to residence cannot apply for residency immediately but can do that after two years of working in New Zealand. Number one, fast track to residence. Occupations on the green list that offer a fast track to residence are in construction, engineering, health and social services, primary industries and sciences, ICT, electronics and telecommunication. Number two, work to residence pathway occupations on the green list that offer a work to residence pathway are in health and social 
social services, trades and agriculture. Agenda 4. Job site. So the next step is to apply for jobs. You can apply for jobs via any of the job sites. But I will recommend you to apply via LinkedIn, Seek, Indeed, Jora, Job Market and careers.government.new Zealand where thousands and thousands of jobs are advertised on a daily basis. Agenda 5. Full list of aggregated employers. So the golden question is how to find out whether the employer is aggregated or not. Like in the UK, the New Zealand government has not published the list on their website. So from my screen, you can see that I found this list which was updated last year in November where I see there are more than 13,000 companies listed here who can sponsor your visa. Again, this is not easy to locate this link. So I have added this link on my website your knowledge buddy which you can use it to download the whole list and before you apply for the job just make sure that the employer is listed here in this list else don't apply for the job as you will not get sponsorship agenda number six other information now employers have to advertise the position and pay at least New Zealand's median wage unless the position or the pay qualifies for an exemption employers don't have to place an ad for the jobs that pay at least twice the New Zealand median wage or is an occupation on the green list. Employees don't have to pay the median wage for specific occupations in construction, infrastructure, tourism and hospitality and in the care workforce sector. Agenda number seven, how can employers apply for aggregation? Now, New Zealand employers can apply for one or four different levels of aggregation. Number one, standard. Standard businesses hiring up to five migrants. Number two is is the high volume aggregation. So standard businesses hiring six or more migrants can apply for this. Number three, franchisee aggregation. Franchisee businesses with no limit on how many migrants the business can hire. Number four, controlling third party aggregation. Businesses who place migrants with third parties while being the direct employer named in the employment agreement with no limit on how many migrants the business can hire. Without aggregation, the employee can't proceed with the processed or employed migrants with an AEWV visa. Agenda 8. How can you apply for your visa? So, once you get a job offer from an aggregated employer, you can apply your own visa on the New Zealand government website from the link provided in my video description. Also, most of the employers will apply your visa if you qualify. So, before I wrap this video I'll encourage everyone to take advantage of this new visa doesn't matter whether your job is on the green list or not everyone is invited to apply and hence you should continuously apply for jobs via different job sites till the time you are lucky they started this new visa because New Zealand is facing a huge shortage of labor at the moment and they want to bridge this gap as soon as possible by the way did you hear about the new four announcements from New Zealand if not you should watch this video you right away so all the best to everyone who is dreaming about migrating to new zealand and may the force be with you thanks for watching my video till the end and i'll see you guys soon with my next video till then keep learning